Let's kick things off with the broader market. Stocks rallying into the close at session highs as we speak. The Nasdaq higher for the first time in six sessions. The S&P up 0.9%. And, and Mike, a reversal of the trends we've been seeing of late opened yeah. at the lows and, and rallied steadily through the day. Yeah, interesting. Uh, popped higher right at the open. Then there was a fade. Everyone figured the script was back on. And, um, and it's interrupted that pattern right now. And so I do think uh, it, it seems like if the question coming into today was, has the market's character fundamentally changed into September? In other words, shallow pullbacks, stealth corrections, but not index-wide pain. Uh, you eventually have dip buyers come in. Credit markets have not actually been disturbed at all uh, over this period. Uh, the answer today would be, no, it seems pretty much in character with what's gone before. Nothing says we're out of the woods. It does just look like a bounce after a persistent decline of 2.5% in the S&P, but uh, obviously takes some of the pressure off the bulls with this action today. Sylvia, what, what do you do now? We've had decent, a decent run so far this year. We're entering a, a seasonally weak period, and there are questions about the strength of the recovery and what the Fed is going to do. What does that mean for what investors should be doing next? I think that it's actually a good opportunity for investors to consider buying on the dip. You know, the market has just been doing absolutely great this year. September tends to be a month where markets pull back a little bit. But if you look at the overall picture, you know, at least for this year, we have massive amounts of liquidity in the market. Companies have loads of cash to spend. You know, consumers are spending. It's softened a little bit, but they are still spending. Um, we're getting hopefully the variant under control again. We're talking about peaks again and, uh, you know, more and more people getting vaccinated. So I think that when the market pulls back like this, because, as Mike said, nothing has fundamentally changed, you have opportunities to get in on some of these names that, you know, you might have missed in the last couple of weeks.